All right, so this is going to be a Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and as well Taurus Rising weekly tarot career reading December 23rd to December 29th, uh, 2019. And uh, just bear with me a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And um, in the meantime, if you do want to get in touch with me for a personal reading, uh, you can check the description down below there. You're going to find my website. And as well, if you do want to check your Law of Tower reading for this same week, you're going to find that link in the description down below as well. So that being said, going into the spread now, the first card represents the topic for your career uh, for this week. That is going to be the Two of Pentacles. Standing next, it is the uh, energy that is to support the topic here. That is going to be the Empress card. Followed by the third one, which represents the challenges that you need to overcome throughout this week. Regarding career, that is going to be the strength card. The fourth one represents the gifts and the blessings that you're going to find out for this, uh, for this week in regards to career, or you can enjoy really um, uh, regards to career. That is going to be the um, Wheel of Fortune. Followed by the next one, which is uh, how other people see you, how your boss is seeing you, how your uh, co-workers are seeing you, or the people that you are applying in front are seeing you for a job. That is going, that is going to be the Ten of Cups. Followed by the next one here, which stands as a um, what can help your long-term goals career-wise throughout this uh, week. And this is to be the Hierophant. Followed by the next one, it is what can hurt your long-term goals. That is going to be the King of Swords. And the last card that we do have, it is the guidance that Tarot is offering for you in regards to career. We do have the Four of Wands. Okay, so um, the topic and the energy. So Two of Pentacles with the Empress card. Now we do have a typical week where you will have to juggle the very last minute with say, um, how can I say it? Um, with fitting in a, a additional circumstances into the already quite abundant a, a plan or a routine. You can uh, expect that uh, you might have to work a bit of an extra hours throughout this week. That is because certain concepts and, and how can I say it, you know, about not goals, but let's say, um, ways of how one can achieve goal is going to be changed. Now, Two of Pentacles as a topic points that there are going, there are going to be minor changes in plans. And it does depend how you take on those minor changes. You know, people may take on the minor changes as setbacks, or people may take as on the minor changes as opportunities to spur one's plan. And how productive that week is going to be for you in regards to career, it does depend how you're going to take on those minor changes that are happening around in your career and in your plans in regards to career. Now, the energy that is supporting that, it is very good actually in this particular um, case with the Empress because it points that you're not going to rush things around. Okay, those energies are going to stop you rushing things around. And instead of a uh, uh, being frantic, you know, and, and despondent, if you will, uh, for that there are things uh, not developing the way that they have been anticipated, you're going to be like, wait a minute, can I do more than uh, actually that have been planned with what it is forming right now? So what we see here as those energies is that you are going to be very calm and patient when you are approaching those uh, differences or those, those things that differentiate. And with a, a perpetual, very well and balanced found decisions, it does look like that uh, seemingly from that mayhem, you are to be able to establish a, a very, very solid pattern for entry of the 2020, okay? So you can expect that this is going to be a very substantial week for you, uh, in a way, a, a week where you need to lay a, a foundation for an, an exponential growth that awaits you in 2020. So what is going to be the challenge here? And that is the strength card. When we're talking about career and strength card, especially as a challenges, it is the enthusiasm that you may have sorting out all those minor changes and fitting them in into um, 
into the current plans, reshaping the current plans and the current tasks in general that you are to have into, uh, into career. So in general, you have to expect that this final week you are going to be very, very busy. Considering that Christmas is coming, you, we do have only two days of work and probably we have to, or you Taurus, will have to make double time throughout these two days of work and make them uh, and, and finish your work for five days worth of work. All right. Just saying, and you may burn out. That is going to be the challenge. Do not become aggressive. That is the last thing you want to do here. Okay. Um, there uh, with the strength card, probably people are going to freak out. Probably people are going to uh, become a, a frantic, if you will. Um, losing their mind and so on and many uh, and a lot depends on you all right a lot depends on your uh, calmness and your self um how do i say it um, it's like controlling yourself self-control so the other card here represents the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week in regards to career and that is going to be the 10 or the uh, Wheel of Fortune. So Wheel of Fortune and that speaks for a big dynamic and from out that dynamic, once in a lifetime opportunity is going to come around to you. It's like the bird, it is uh, landing on your shoulder and uh, you have to grasp and catch that bird, you know. As a gift and blessings, you may take the gift or you may reject the gift. So you can expect throughout these couple of weeks, along with uh, the um, minor changes in plans and dynamic uh, into your career as well, big proposition to come at your way. Okay, that will probably involve some enterprises at the very start of 2020. And uh, it will be a shame if you don't take it. Okay, uh, the, the very least with the Wheel of Fortune as a gift and blessings, you will have enormous luck. And um, it's simply you can establish a very, very good positions, positions that will make difference for you and your future career growth in 2020 and even beyond that. The next card represents how others are uh, seeing you and that is going to be the Ten of Cups. So how people, how your boss, supervisor, co-workers or people that you are applying in front um, are seeing you. Ten of Cups. Well, that will differentiate depending on the people. So your co-workers are going to see you as a lucky bastard. It's just it's how they're going to see you, all right? Probably what we're talking about here, it is uh, the proposition or the tasks. Everybody wants them, okay? And they, for one or another reason, have been given to you. So everybody is going to envy you, okay? But this is going to be a, a, a positive envy. It's not like they're going to be, you know, um, how can I say it? Uh, are aggressively stationed against you, but it's just like, you know, they would wish to be in your shoes. Uh, your boss is going to see you from another side as a ready to take on a new position, okay, as a ready, not that they are going to um, instantly put you there, but as a ready, and probably this is going to be the proposition, but yet with the will of fortune, that proposition does not initiate straight away, okay, so you still have what to perform and what to do in order to earn it, but you are already there, uh, but you are almost uh, uh, there. And uh, as if it comes to applying for new jobs, uh, there is a, a good chance that um, someone is going to see you as a, a very suitable for the position that they have open. Uh, the other card here represents what you can do to uh, help your long-term goals in regards to career Taurus, and that is the Hierophant card. Uh, that represents Taurus itself and the Hierophant points uh, that you should not reinvent the wheel here, but you should follow the already established patterns of how things are done. Okay, Do not play the smart guy here, you just follow the rules. If you don't know something, well, cancel yourself with those who knows it. All right? If you can't do something, ask for help because benevolent support is going to be given to you as well. And whatever problem you do face, once again, do not play the smart ass here, but rather accept that the simplest solution, it is the right solution. The solution resides in already established framework. The other cards, it's uh, representing what you should not do 
uh, in regards to your long-term goals or um, you know what can hurt your long-term goals and that is the king of swords um, and again it just points do not play the smart ass all right do not try to figure out everything on your own because there are um, circumstances and plans that resides beyond your vision you know beyond your awareness as well another thing here it is being tyrannical you know just because you have been entrusted with a a, a big plan or big endeavor big task promotion even doesn't mean that you need to be rude it doesn't mean that you need to kind of sit on a high horse and look at the others and even uh revenging uh, uh, putting vengeance uh, uh, upon those who may have mistreated you back in the days. So it's it's like with this card, you should kind of like take everything with a huge portion of conscientiousness instead of uh, looking at just as a, a personal gains. And uh, the last card that we do have represents the guidance that Tarot has for you in regards to career. And that card points that you better finish your tasks, guys, throughout this, uh, throughout this week. Put a uh, finalize as much as you can because much better, much bigger and much more lucrative deeds awaits you very, very soon. Which again speaks for a kind of promotion here. Um, that card points that it is time for you to whatever you have planned or whatever you have worked for, uh, no, it is time for you, but now have the time for whatever you have planned and you work for to be manifested. You have worked for to be promoted. Well, there you go. You know, you have worked for to be in a certain specific job. Well, there you go. You have the chance. You have the opportunity. Do not miss it. That's the whole thing. And be grateful for it as well. So that being said, Soros, this was your weekly career tarot reading, December 23rd to December 29th, 2019. Hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, if you do uh, want to get in touch with me, you can check out the description down below where you're going to find my website or as well, you're going to find the link for your love tarot reading for that same very week. And uh, I hope that we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.